Hey guys, this is Brad from Urban Legends Airsoft, and today we have my updated loadout. Hope you enjoy the video. My life be like. guys so to start off we're going to start off from the head down so uh, first I'm going to start off with my mask and I'll put my gun down right there this is the cactus hobby uh, army of two mask as you can see it's the green flame edition uh, mask is all fiberglass even the mesh uh, the mask is really really hard so uh, it's easily to be, it'll easily be able to withstand any type of FPS, maybe like 600 feet per second. Uh, might leave a dent, but uh, it's not going to get through. So, uh, this is from the video game Army of Two. If you can remember, this is the bullet hole where Rios gets shot in the forehead. And this is also uh, a bullet hole. I don't remember this mission, but uh, this mask is from Army of Two. So... And then uh, this mask is probably one of the most comfortable masks I've ever worn. Um, although it is the most expensive. So <laughs> uh, inside it's really comfortable, really basically all foam padded. And then it's got a really nice back strap. As you can see it's really nice texturized. And it's got the CH for Cactus Hobby and a nice Cactus logo right there. Uh, as you can see it's uh, all buckle. So it's easy to adjust for... Uh, any size head, I guess. That's the only way you could probably say it. But uh, the mask fits me really, really well, and it, it protects you really well, too. So, um, like, if you're running, this isn't going to fall off. So, uh, uh, one other thing I'd like to mention is that uh, it is mesh. So if you plan on getting this and going to, like, a field that doesn't allow mesh, uh, probably don't get this, or uh, you could get it and probably just put sunglasses underneath them because you can fit them underneath. So that's one thing. I mean, it is mesh, and obviously it's not gonna fog. But um, remember, if you're going to a field that doesn't allow mesh and it only allows full seal goggles, uh, this might not be the mask for you. So guys, now we're gonna go into my gun and then my gear. Alright guys, so this is my gun. This is the KWA G36C, uh, fully licensed by H&K. So uh, this is the new model, so instead of seeing KWA trademarks, you're going to see a lot of H&K trademarks, like right here, and right here, and uh, over on this side we have trademarks right here, and uh, this gun is just loaded with trademarks. I mean, it's even got trademarks on the mag. You can't really see that, but it says restricted for electric gun use only, Cal 6mm. And it's got a little bullet at the top showing you which way to load the magazine. Um, so uh, this gun is just loaded with trademarks because it is manu or not manufactured. This gun is fully licensed by H&K. Uh, however, it is manufactured by KWA which, in my opinion, they make the best AGs on the market today. Uh, anyway, on to some specifications. Uh, the FPS on this rifle is about 400 feet per second with .2s. Range is about 150 feet. Uh, some features. It's got a really, really nice folding stock. No problems there. It can easily hold the weight of the gun. Uh, selector switch is ambidextrous. It's the G36 style uh, selector switch and uh, grip. Um, magazine capacity. I have two mags right here. Uh, one of them is a 470 round high capacity KWA magazine uh, manufactured by Umarex. And this one right here is a Matrix 130 round mid cap magazine. Uh, some good things about these mags that they can clamp together so just to reload all you really have to do is that really simple so that's about it uh, 
It's got a really nice RIS system, got a full top metal rail on here, and uh, the full RIS system, so you got uh, one rail right here, one rail right here, and an under rail for a uh, foregrip. Um, I was going to put a laser on here, right there, however the mount is broken, so I'm going to have to get a new mount. Um, charging handle, really realistic, also reveals the hop up, which is right there. Uh, charging handle is ambidextrous. Um, really that's about it. Really like the G36 sights. Uh, what I have on here, I have an AIM Special Ops Edition Panorama Red Dot Sight for 50 bucks. It's a really great red dot sight. It's got four reticles with either red or green colored. And uh, it's got three settings of brightness. So that's always really cool. And then uh, you got trademark saying right here, AIM. And then on the other side, Special Ops Edition. If you could see it quite right. And uh, I've got a Garter Mod 2 Grip. Uh, it's got a PS pocket for my laser. Um, so that's really cool. And then it's got sling mounts right here. And uh, right over here. A really great gun with a LiPo battery. I use it with a Firepower 11.1 volt. Uh, 15C 1100 milliamp battery. Um, this gun can fire a little over 25, 26 rounds a second. So, I mean, <laughs> that's really awesome. Or I sometimes use a 12C 2300 milliamp 11.1 by Firefox. Really, really good battery. And uh, just to compare, This is a standard 8.4 mini type. And this is an 11.1 volt LiPo battery. Can you see uh, the size difference? LiPo batteries are the smallest in the market, which is why I run them. And it's a KWA. Uh, the internals on this gun's got a type bore, I already mentioned that, but it's also got a 2GX gearbox, a uh, new model by KWA. That means it has 8 and 9mm bearings, which is why I run a LiPo on it, and it's got the 2x bucking, so it's really accurate. Uh, to take off the, to get to the battery compartment, you just push this pin right here, and you just slide off the handguard. And uh, that's uh, basically it. It's got a small battery compartment, as you can see. I mean, you can't really fit anything else in there. But you might be able to fit a 9.6 nunchuck in there. It's also got a small type connector. Uh, but that's about that's about it for my gun. Um, sorry, that was ridiculously long. I didn't want to make that like. Uh, you know, too long, but want to go over everything about my gun, and now we're going to move on to my gear. Alright guys, so I'm just going to really quickly go over this since uh, I went over the gun a little bit too much. Uh, right here I have four magazine pouches, each hold a one uh, G3060 magazine. Uh, material's really, really nice. BBs hit this, they're not going to rip through any material. Really, really high quality vest. Uh, in this pouch right here, I got two speed loaders because I do have mid caps. So, and then over here, I have a utility pouch which I hold a 9.6 nunchuck and a bottle of silicone oil. I also hold two extra magazines for my pistol, which I'll get to later. They are two high kappas. And 
And also since I have about six magazines for the G36, I also have a dump pouch right here. Dump pouch just allows me to, uh, when I'm reloading, I don't have to put the magazine back in the pouch. I can just throw it in the dump pouch and just take another magazine. Um, other cool things is that this vest is all molly, which means I can basically take anything on or off uh, this vest. Um, one thing is that the magazine pouches are stitched on, so you will not be able to take these off. Um, so it's all molly, and right here you can see I have two patches, one saying O positive, one saying commander and ACU. And then uh, on the back I got a hydration carrier with a patch saying janitor. And uh, right here is the hydration carrier. Uh, so that about concludes for the vest. Uh, I have an admin pouch right here for like a map or cell phone or something. Uh, it's got a carry handle on the back for Milsim games for the medic to drag you. Uh, that's about it. Really high quality vest. So now I'm going to move on to my legs and all the other stuff. Alright guys, so on my legs I just have a regular pair of brown uh, cargo pants. I've also got on this leg uh, knee pads over here too. Uh, right here I have a thigh holster which I should have tightened. Uh, the thigh holster holds my uh, Wii Dragon Accelerator with a 51 high capacity magazine high kappa. It's a uh, green gas powered. Also has a split competition slide since uh, it really conserves on gas. So that's for my pistol. And uh, really that's all I could get, uh, just brown cargo pants. I guess that goes with OD Woodland. So, I mean, still really good. Uh, really nice pants, like them. And uh, I really only have like a black thermal long sleeve shirt. Uh, nothing really special. I'm just going to get a BDU soon. So that'll probably be my final loadout. And on my hands, I've got the Condor Striker gloves. They're uh, full finger gloves. Uh, protect you really well. As you can see, it's got the knuckle uh, protection. It's also got a finger knuckle protection. And they're really, really comfortable once you break them in. Uh, also got a little bit of like rubber stickiness on your finger so you can get the mags out faster. Um, overall, really, really great gloves. So these are the Condor Striker gloves. They fit really, really well, and they come in three different sizes, too. Uh, but anyway, guys, that's about it for my loadout. So, uh, just going to get into my conclusion now. Okay, guys, so that's about it for my assault loadout. Uh, this is only my updated loadout. You'll probably see a final loadout sometime soon. All I have to do is get my BDUs. Uh, so that's about it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. And this is Urban Legends Airsoft. We're out.